Hi, my name is Brian, and I'm going to show you how Docket can transform your dumpster rental business. From scheduling, invoicing, and payments, rental agreements, asset tracking, reporting, and more, we have you covered. For starters, visit yourdocket.com to create your free trial account. Enter a few of your business details, and you're ready to get started. So what you're looking at here is what we call our Today page. It's everything important to you about today. So these will be your tasks, your drop-offs, your pickups, dump and returns, your scheduled junk removal jobs, if that's something you offer, as well as we'll show you your unpaid invoices. So we will categorize them by time frame due. You can also click on them, make payment through the system. In Docket, there's three ways you can take payment. The first being through here on the website. So whether or not you've got their information written down or they've called in, you can take payment right over the phone. The second way would be through our client dashboard, which allows your customers to go to their own unique website. They can view invoices, they can sign rental agreements, they can obviously make payment through the invoice. They'll be able to see any past or future scheduled drop-offs pickups as well. They can update their contact information it's basically a one-stop shop for both your one-time residential clients or continuing commercial clients. So they can also do things like request early pickups, request swaps. The third place that you can take payment through Docket with the mobile app. So you or your employees, the field techs can take credit card payments right on site. They can also sign and accept the rental agreement as well. Once they do that, whether they're taking payment on any of those three options, we are also going to store the card on file. So if it ever would be a reason to charge an overage, whether it be weight overage or maybe you have to use the tarp or there's items in the dumpster that you need to charge extra for, we are going to have that card on file for you. So it'll make getting that payment much easier. So also on the today page, we have a map which will allow you to see where any of your employees are at any time. We'll be able to also show you clock in and clock out status, as well as any of the jobs or tasks assigned to that person for the day. So I can click on uh, Brian here, and we'll be able to see, again, tasks that are assigned to him already for the day. Now we're gonna head over to the schedule page. So what we have here is our schedule. So you can view your assigned tasks and jobs for the day, uh, by employee. You can also view them by status. We'll let you also take a look at them at a month or agenda style. So if you need to see the whole month, which is our default method, you can do that or switch to kind of a weekly agenda. So you can quickly see who's assigned, where they're going and what's happening in the future. So back to the month view, all of these are drag and droppable. So you can uh, very easily take a task and if the customer calls and needs to move it to another day you can drag it over and we'll update the day and send a notification to the client. You can also see how these are highlighted so we're going to associate the drop off and the pickup task on the calendar for you so you can easily find it. Say there is a task that you'd like to set some priorities on you can open up the task you'll have full access to all the scheduling options, notes, employees. We can add priorities to these so maybe this one is a high priority we want to get done that'll signify that the dispatcher will know that's high priority or even your drivers if you leave that up to them uh, so they'll see that on their app um, we can also add like I mentioned notes so we can add one of four different types of notes driver notes dispatch notes office notes and client notes of course the driver is going to get prompted with those driver notes uh, whenever they're attempting to complete that task. Dispatch notes are gonna be available to the dispatcher on our dispatch page. And then of course the office notes. Now I mentioned the dispatch page, so let's head over there. From here, you'll be able to see all your yard and dump locations, your unscheduled tasks, your unassigned tasks, as well as all your employees are listed across the top. So from here, you'll be able to quickly assign these tasks to each individual driver. So if we need to assign this three yard drop off to Abraham, we can simply drag it over to him. And now that is assigned to him. He will get a notification on his mobile app that'll let him know that he has been assigned this task. 
We can also do a quick assign. So we see this four yard drop off. We can hit the assign button and select Daniel and it will be added to his list without dragging and dropping. Now we can also move from one driver to another. So I can take this 12 yard drop off from Brian and assign it to Abraham. Uh, and now in this case, Abraham will get a notification saying he is assigned to it and Brian will get the notification saying that he is no longer assigned to the task. So everybody is kept in the loop on what is their actual items on their schedule to complete for that day. We can also remove the cards from the screen and just see the map. So from here we can see all tasks for the day, yard dump locations, we can even turn on current dumpster locations. So we can take a look at that, click on those, see any history on that dumpster. Uh, so we can see when it was picked up, dropped off, who the customer was, when it happened, the coordinates of it. Now let's show you how the mobile app will interact with the dispatch screen. Welcome to the Docket mobile app, where your employees will get their daily assignments, clock in and clock out, view client lists, and a few other tools that help them along the way. When you're ready to head to a task, simply select the task and let them know you're on your way. From here, you can get the turn-by-turn -turn directions. Once you've arrived, simply hit the pickup button. Enter in the dumpster pin and hit pickup. Now we're going to prompt you for your dump location. If you have one already assigned, we'll simply ask if you were ready to go. If not, we'll ask you to pick one from the list or simply say no, not at this time. Once you're finished at the dump, simply enter in the net weight on the ticket. And hit save. From here, you can add additional charges, pictures, or a few other actions that you can complete. Once done at the dump, simply hit the dump complete button and let us know which dump you were at and you're done. Select your yard or simply go back and execute the next task on your list. You can view all your completed tasks by clicking the completed button on the top right. Some of these features can be turned off if you choose to limit an employee's access. Another feature our dispatch page has is the ability to see where you're headed next. So your dispatcher can view the map and see where your current employee is and where they're going. Next, let's head over to the dumpsters page. The dumpsters page is gonna give you all the details about your inventory and your scheduling. So we'll start with your today's tasks. We'll have those all listed for you here. Uh, you'll be able to sort them by date, client, address, however you want to sort and figure out where you're going that day. We can also show you your upcoming schedule as well as your open rentals. So your open rentals are a list of your outstanding rentals. So that means your drop-offs that have not been picked up yet. You can also search and find a specific dumpster by client or by address or even by PIN number. Clicking on the PIN number will allow you again to see details about that PIN. So size, current location, as well as history. Now our fourth section on the dumpsters page is what we call our needs attention tab. So there's four reasons why a task will show up under needs attention. The first one being there has not been an invoice attached to the task. So we want to make sure you're getting paid. The second reason would be a weight has not been entered for that task. And then the third one, which you're seeing right now, is the weight has been entered for a pickup task, but it happens to be over the weight allowance. And then the fourth reason is we you may have an additional charge attached to that. So whether there was, again, maybe a tire or an appliance in the dumpster when you picked it up, your drivers have the ability to add your predefined additional charges to a task, and then you later or an office staff personnel can head over to the needs attention and execute additional charge invoices when necessary. So back to the one we have right here, which is 
our most common and overweight charge. I will just simply select this task and we'll get a little bit more explanation saying we need to create a weight overage. So our, our weight allowance as we show here was two tons and we charge $95 a ton over. And if I open this one up, we can see the net weight was entered as 8,425 pounds. So all you have to do is select the icon to create a weight overage charge. I'm only gonna open this just to show you. You don't have to do this when you use the system, but now we'll see under the more actions that we have an additional charge. Uh, we do the math for you. We tell you how many tons it's over, and again, at that rate that you define, $95, and then we calculate the actual overage charge that you need to charge the client. You can click a created additional charge invoice here, or simply what typically our users do, we'll click that weight icon, create the additional charge, and then click the dollar sign icon, and we will again generate that invoice for you. From here, hit apply payment, most likely you've got the card on file, and then just send me uh, the paid invoice to the client for their records. Lastly here, we have our dumpsters section. So this 40 dumpsters mean we have 40 dumpsters in our system. Again, we can sort these uh, by uh, last date out, the current client who has them, the address they're currently at. Uh, also, just sort them by size if you have multiple sizes. And then again, we'll show you the information. Uh, and then simply whether or not they're, if they're available or not. Now up on the top right hand corner up here, we have our dumpster availability by size chart. So this is a, a real easy way for you to see your inventory numbers. So we will base this off your current schedule. We'll also show you your current dumpster yard counts, as well as all the current locations of your dumpsters in the map on the bottom. Heading over to the clients page, we'll be able to show you a list of all your previous clients uh, you'll be able to select any of these clients. Once selected, we're going to show you all the information we have about them. So that would include your billing, any payment requests, estimates if you, if you have them, past or future scheduled jobs tasks. We'll also include rental agreements, waiver forms, we'll also do your service contracts, all these are things that Docket can handle for you. You can also set up special pricing. Say you have a commercial client who gets a little bit of a discount on a dumpster rental. You can go in and set up a special pricing rule for them so that say the standard price is $300, they're only gonna pay 280. And you don't have to remember that when you create invoices for them, we're gonna pull in the correct price for them automatically. Uh, we also have notifications, a lot of notifications in our system. We'll go through them all later, but we have global notifications for jobs, tasks, financial documents, so invoices, estimates, all these are set up at a global level. But if there's a certain client that does not want the notifications, you can turn them off for that specific client. So a lot of contractors may not want all the handy notifications that we have that maybe a one-time resident customer does. So to appease them, you can just simply turn it off for that client while still providing those features to the majority of the other clients. And then of course you can add notes and attachments, update their name, address, and contact. And there's also a quick access way to get to their client dashboard that they go out and see. So here's an example of a client's customer dashboard. We'll show them all their invoices, any previous jobs or dumpster events. So those are drop-offs, pickups. They'll have all that information for themselves. They can request dumpsters. They can view and sign agreements, invoices, you name it. It's all done through the dashboard. And this dashboard is mobile friendly. You can also do things from the client section like quickly add an estimate, invoice, schedule a, a task, again, add one of those documents and add a card on file. Next, we're gonna head over to the forms. In Docket, there's three types of forms you can build. Checklists, 
to-do lists, and online booking forms. Checklists are a great way for you to set up tasking that your employees to do on every job. The other type of forms are online booking forms. So let's take a look at what one of those looks like. You can build these forms to however you want them to look, change attributes, add image uploading features, you can change the name of the labels, you can make customizable field forms. This is all to your liking. I'm gonna go view a form to just give you an idea what this can look like. So this is an example of an online booking form. Again, completely customizable, but as your client fills out this form, we get a lot of the information, takes a lot of the time away from you. So as the client fills out this form, what that does is it pulls in all their personal information, gets a service address if, it, if it's necessary, also gets specific dates, image uploader like we mentioned before, placement notes, takes all the time away from you inputting their information, whether they're on the phone or texting, away from you. Once the customer fills out the online booking form, you will get an email and a lead into Docket. From here, you'll be able to quickly create the customer, estimate, invoice, or schedule an event. We're gonna go ahead and schedule the drop-off. We're gonna select dumpster task, and all that information is now brought over automatically into Docket. So we know they wanted a 12 yard dumpster for two days and they wanted it dropped off on the 21st of December. All you have to do now is hit add task or if there's some additional details that you want to add, you may do that at this time. Now one option we have in Docket is our automations. So we can, from this scheduling of drop off, create an invoice as well. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. You'll see our automations are set up to create the task and then create an invoice. So that task is now on the schedule for us and now we've pre-filled out the invoice uh, just waiting for you to review and hit accept. So we know they had a 12 yard dumpster, two day rate. We pulled in their price, which was $500. From here, we can add additional notes, modify the terms, when we're ready, just go ahead and hit Create Invoice. Now you can see the invoice in our invoices list. And then when ready, go ahead and hit Send. Now that invoice has been shared with that client. While we're on the invoice page, we'll go through some of the features we have here. We will show you an at a glance on whether or not the invoice was delivered to their inbox and whether it's been read. Those are signified by the blue check marks. So once they've got a blue check mark, we know it's been delivered. Once it's read, we will receive a blue check mark here, like down on invoice 439. And then once they have actually signed and accepted the invoice, you will then see the signature icon. We show you profit totals as well as balance due. You can click on the invoice. From here, you can again view the invoice head up to our actions menu, edit it, resend it, download it, a bunch of other options as well. If you need to create a new invoice from scratch, just go down to the bottom right hand corner and hit the green plus button. From here, we can create a new client in the system or select from a previous client. We'll pull in all their information and from here you're just going to build the invoice how you would like. We have predefined cost templates that you can use on your invoices that you can pull in or you can type a new item and set the quantity and rate. We have pricing tools for tax rates, convenience fees, fuel surcharges, and also a profit margin adjustment tool. Here you can also add or remove the ability to require the signature on invoice. And when ready, hit create invoice. In Docket, we can also help track your employee's time. Simply set up your payroll configurations through the account settings. You tell us what day payroll starts and how long it lasts. You can also turn on the feature to GPS track on every clock in and clock out. So you 
have the ability to know if a client clocked in at their house or on the job site. We also track expenses in Docket. Whether you're using the website or the mobile app, both you and your employees can easily add expenses. Simply tell us the category, the description, and the amount. If you'd like to upload an image receipt, you can do that as well. Not only does Docket send out notifications to your clients, it will also act as a two-way communication. So when you send out a morning of notification, your clients have the ability to respond back via text. And now you have the transparency and the history in one spot. So whether it was you or an employee communicating with a client, you now have the ability to see it all in one place. Let's take a look at some of the settings we have in Docket. Most importantly would be the notifications. Like I mentioned before, you can customize the notifications that go out. For example, when a drop-off is complete, you can customize the message that's sent to them. We have notifications for tasks that include drop-off complete, dump and return complete, exchange complete, live load complete, pickup complete, and relocate complete. In addition to letting your customers know we're on our way, a dumpster rental feedback. So that is a way for your clients to be prompted to leave a review at the review website of your choosing, whether it be Facebook, Google, Yelp, etc. We also have a few rental reminders for day before and morning of. In addition to some of the task notifications, we also have financial notifications for invoices and payments. Docket also provides reporting tools. So whether you need financial, work reports, or dumpster reports, we have them and we can build custom reports for you as well.